On the night of Sunday, April 14, 1912, the British White Star Liner, RMS Titanic, struck an iceberg and sank in the North Atlantic, 1,600 miles northeast of New York City. The giant ship at that time was the largest in the world and was 882 feet long and weighed over 46,000 tons. The ship was on its maiden voyage from Southampton, England to New York City. Titanic crewmen sighted the iceberg shortly before the crash, but too late to avoid a collision. Experts had considered the ship unsinkable and hailed its durability and engineering design. The collision tore a 300-foot gash in the Titanic's hull. The ship's lifeboats had room for less than half of the 2,208 passengers and crew. The nearest ship to the Titanic, the Californian, lay only a few miles away, but due to the wireless telegraphy operator going to sleep early that evening, the distress signal from the Titanic was not received. The Californian had the capacity to save all passengers and crew on the Titanic. The liner Carpathia, bound for the Mediterranean out of New York Harbor, was four hours away at the time of the collision. The Carpathia received distress signals from the Titanic and moved at 17 knots per hour toward the Titanic, which sank in two and a half hours. The Carpathia arrived on the scene and picked up 705 survivors. 1,503 passengers and crew, including Captain E.F. Smith, went down with the ship.